Hi all my beauty loves. Oh, it is so good to see you guys. Thank you for tuning in to the newest video. Um, by now, I'm sure you know me, but I'm Jen, your favorite Clinique consultant, representing my brand the best way I know how. And again, I'm just so happy to see you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for checking in. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, I would love for you to subscribe to my videos so you never miss out. And of course, you can follow me on social media as well. So those are popping up now. Anyway, um, today I'm bringing you a look that is soft, romantic, candlelit filled. Um, it's all about romance and being touchable and kissable, which is just perfect for Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. So if you've got some special time set aside for um, romance with a loved one, this tutorial is for you. Stay tuned. Because I know how precious your time is, I did leave my brows done. If you are wanting to check out a brow tutorial, go ahead and look at my video that's popping up right now, the Girls Night Out video. There is a brow tutorial in there. And um, I will be posting later this month a tutorial that is just brows. It'll be short and sweet. It'll be one of my makeup lessons for this month. It'll be just brows, so be on the lookout for that. The first thing for my eyes that I want to do is use my Clinique Lid Smoothie in Bit of Honey. and it's Brand new. There's nothing like brand new. So this is a liquid eyeshadow, actually, and I use it as a primer um, because I like the color that comes out. It's a very, very iridescent um, color, and it really just makes my shadow stick much better, last longer, and it's got a little bit of shimmer, so it'll make even matte shadows have just the tiniest bit of shimmer. And I just want to say for those of you that are getting mad at me right now for using shimmer on my eyes that maybe have a little bit of a crepier eye or um, more of a mature eye. Soft shimmer is okay. It actually helps to um, kind of brighten the eye as well as deflect from any lining or crepiness. Heavy shimmer is where we want to stay away from that. Um, but soft shimmer is definitely a, a good go-to. Um, what I love about doing this is you can use this just as a shadow on its own. Like look how pretty that is just by itself. Um, but since I'm going to use it as kind of my primer, I'm bringing it all the way up to my brow bone. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover it with shadow. I just want to get it kind of even, no big goopiness. I do kind of work it into my inside corner a little bit as well. <laughs> For my transition color, I'm going to be using Blushed, which is a pinkish color. And it's looking more purpley on this, but it is definitely a pink color. So we're actually going to just lightly place that right above my crease, like I said, this is gonna be my transition color, so you're not gonna to see too much of it. It's gonna be blended in with my deeper shadow, as well as my highlight. Just gonna work that in, blend it back and forth out, and I am gonna kind of wing this out a bit. So we're just gonna start blending it out. Now, we've talked about, I've, I've mentioned many times, and you can probably notice, I do have a slight hooded eye. So when I open my eye, you can see this extra skin that hangs over. One of the tricks that I've learned with having a hooded eye is if you do your transition and your crease color almost straight out, it gives the illusion of more of a lift. And then we're gonna come and clean it and, and do the full lift, which will give me more of an open eye. Like look how much open my eye looks compared to this one already. And it's not fully blended. But you wanna get it straight out. You don't wanna bring it down. When you bring it down, you get more of that kind of droopy dog eye, and that's not what we want. We don't want to look sad, right? Especially not on a Valentine's Day. We want to look happy and in love and fresh. Even if you're not in love and you're having um, a singles Valentine's Day, you want to cry about it? No! You want to show the world you got this, right? Okay. Enough about Valentine's Day. color that I'm going to use is Black Honey and this is, again, this looks darker on the film than it is in real life, but it is a deeper brown um, and I'm going to use this as my crease color. And again, we're going to kind of do that straight out. This is going to go right in my actual crease.
because I want to add just the teensiest bit of plum to my eyes, I'm going to be using the deeper shade in the Jam and Duo. You don't have to do this if you don't want to add the plum. This definitely looks pretty by itself, but I just want to add just a little bit and it's going to be right in my crease. And I am going to start bringing that, and that plum in there. If you're going to skip the plum, you would just bring your black honey down in here. For my lid color, I'm going to play up this very light iridescent color and really use my tried and true Daybreak, um, which I think it's in everything I do. I absolutely adore this shade. It's just a very soft, neutral shimmer. It's got, it's a little beigey, little gold. It's not gold, but like a little like a yellow gold. Um, it just looks absolutely beautiful with everything. Sometimes I do that as my all over color, sometimes it's just my highlight. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using Clinique's Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner. I'm not gonna be doing a very thick, dramatic wing. I am gonna give myself just a soft little flick or as I like to call it, the extra eyelash. And that's just gonna keep that moving upwards um, motion in my eye to again, take away that droopiness that happens and keep my eye looking awake um, and romantic. Because I wanna go romantic, I don't want it to be too harsh. Like I said, we don't want harsh lines, but I do need just the slightest bit of definition in my eye so, so you can see the difference. I'm not gonna do the under with my liquid liner, going to add just a little bit of smokiness and I'm going to be using the um, Quick Liner Intense and Intense Clove. And Intense Clove, I'm going to kind of swatch it on my hand. Intense Clove is, I kind of swatched it there, it's a grayish brown, um, a deep taupe if you will. And I'm using this because again I don't want a super intense harsh line um, that a liquid could give. I just want to get just a little bit of shadow underneath. And then I'm gonna flip over to my sponge end and just smoke it out just a little bit. Cause again, we just want definition. We don't want something harsh and intense. It's okay if you make it messy because as you can tell, I have not done concealer. So I can come up and clean it if it's too thick on one eye or both eyes. I'm gonna do my foundation. What I'm using is Even Better Foundation. My color is Alabaster, which is shade one, if you wanna use that as per, like, kind of your starting off point. Um, but Even Better Foundation has got, I wanna say, like, 30-something shades now. Um, it's a, it's a moderate, I say moderate to full. Um, I think Clinique calls it moderate coverage foundation. But I'd say moderate to full because it's definitely buildable if you need to build it and it doesn't look cakey. What I love about it is it has some um, optics in it that help deflect from hyperpigmentation. Um, so it'll help even out the skin so you can see I've kind of got some hyperpigmentation that happens. Um, more of a natural finish. I always finish with a powder to make everything last longer. So I end up with more of a matte finish anyway so that doesn't really ever bother me. But I just love that it blends easy. There's a bazillion and a half shades, so you're guaranteed to find your shade in that. Um, and then, again, it's buildable. You don't find that in a lot of foundations. They're either sheer, moderate, or full. Um, you don't get a lot of buildable to full if you need it, uh, which means that I can use it on days I don't want a lot of coverage and days that I want a ton of coverage. If you want to get more of an in-depth tutorial um, about getting like a full finished face for foundation, check out the video I am linking right now up top and that will send you right there. And it's all about baking and foundation, definitely more of a full coverage, like full face look. Um, but what's great is you can you know, take pieces out and customize it to what you need.
Next, I'm gonna do my blush, and for my blush, I'm using a very soft pink. I'm using Precious Posy, um, which is a soft, peachy pink color. Oh, I love it. And I'm just doing that right again on my cheekbones. I'm gonna add just a little bit of highlight using Clinique's Chubby Stick highlighter and a hefty highlight. I don't know why when I say that I have to put on like a slight southern accent. Hefty highlight. So now when you use it, you're gonna have to say hefty highlight every time. I like just a little bit down my nose, my chin. Blend it so that you don't have these crazy spots. Chubby Lash Mascara is my favorite, favorite mascara. Gives a nice, dramatic, full lash. I always feel like I'm gonna like stick my nose up at you guys, and in fact I have many times, so thank you for just loving me regardless of looking at my nose. Oops, a little gunk on there. So we're gonna be doing a very soft pink lip. Uh, the whole thing is I wanna look kissable. I don't want to look like my husband can't kiss me because what's the point? <laughs> so the lip liner I'm gonna be using is Intense Hibiscus, which is a Clinique lip liner. It's one of the Intense lip liners. And it's just, as you can see, a very soft pink. Let me swatch it for you. Very soft pink. Gosh, everything looks so much darker on here. Very, very soft pink. We're not going for sultry yet. Yet. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna be using Peony Pop, which is one of the matte pop lip colors. It is long lasting, eight hours. It's got primer built into it. And again, a very soft pink, like absolutely luscious. <gasps> luscious color. And because it's matte, it will stay put when I kiss my husband. Yay! And because it's a soft pink, he's not going to be afraid to kiss me. Yay! Okay, you guys, it was so great spending some time with you and teaching you my candlelit dinner makeup look. It's great for a romantic Valentine's Day or just a when you're looking to have a nice um, night out with your special somebody. Um, I love it because you are beautiful and soft and romantic, but you are still touchable and kissable, and that's what it's all about when you are having some special one-on-one -on -one time, right? <laughs> So our next video, you guys, we're gonna go the other end of the spectrum. We're gonna go sexy, sultry, lady in red kind of. Not my go-to, not my natural um, kind of talent. It's not what people think of me. I don't think they think sultry. <laughs> but we're gonna do it together. So I'm so excited to do it together with you guys and um, just have a good time. So I will see you soon. Make sure you follow me on social media, popping them up now if you haven't had a chance. But at the end of the day, thank you so much for checking out my newest video and I will see you in a couple days looking all sultry. Have a great Valentine's Day. Bye.